Okay, guys, hello again. Uh, in today's lesson, shall we will start unit 8. In the previous unit, we talked about specification. We said specification is the technical description of um, an item. We then go, uh, went through to talk about quantities, and we divided the nouns into countable and uncountable nouns. And finally, we talked about future, and we learned how to use uh, the structure, uh, the appropriate structure to be used in the future by using well. In today's lesson, we'll start our first lesson in, of the unit. Okay, the unit title is about reporting. Okay, reporting. Reporting basically means that if you had an accident, for example, and you want to uh, tell someone else who is uh, authorized to help you, okay, then you are reporting to him. You are telling him officially. Okay, this is um, uh, one meaning of the word reporting. Why? The reason for that is, as we said before, to get help. The second reason is uh, uh, to be uh, uh, to not be asked by law, okay, or to not be accounted responsible for any action you have done. Okay. The other meaning is uh, used with media, okay. Let's say that uh, there is a fire in, in a neighborhood, okay? Then a media company is gonna send their reporters. Why? The reporter will try to report and cover the area. So the action is reporting, basically covering the, uh, the area and try to tell other people about what is happening in that area. So basically reporting is like telling, but is uh, more officially, more official use. Okay. The first lesson of this unit is about recent incidents. Recent basically means new. Something that recently has happened means something new did happen. Okay, not very old, not far away from this time. Incidents basically means any accidents or events you have encountered. Okay, in this exercise, just we are willing to look at the picture and we'll try to explain what is happening. As we can see in this picture, clearly, uh, the driver has stopped uh, in the middle of the road because his or her car has stopped working. As a result, she or he needs help. In order to get help, she needs to report about the incident she had. To tell what? To report someone else who is experienced in order to come to her uh, in order to help her and try to fix her car. So this is the action of reporting. Okay, she's telling the one who is going to help her about the accident, okay, or the issue, as well as the location so that he can come to her and help her. So this is one explanation of what is happening here. Okay, look at number two. In number two, we need to fill out uh, this table. Basically, if you called a company, okay, the one who received the call must uh, fill out this information. The name, the car registration number, okay, the location, uh, and the problem. So, this is basically what... Uh, uh, the worker is doing. If this uh, driver 
called the company, the insurance company, for example, the one who received a call must fill out this information. Name, the car registration number, and location, and finally, the problem. Okay, so we have to fill out this information based on the listening we must, we should hear, what we are going to hear. Forty-three. Hello, Crush Recovery Company. How can I help you? Oh, hi. I've broken down on the motorway. Okay, don't worry. What's your name and car registration number? My name's Anita Zubaid. That's Anita, spelt A-N-I-T-A, -A, and Zubaid, spelt Z-U-B-A-I-D. The car is... Y449MNE. And where are you, Ms. Zubaid? I'm on the M13 between junctions 15 and 16, uh, going south. Right, and what's the problem? Well, the exhaust pipe has fallen off. OK, we'll be there in 30 minutes. Stay with your car, please. All right, bye. Okay, let's try to uh, fill out this information. So the customer name was Nita Zubaid, the car registration number Y449MNE, and the location A13, and between junction 15 and junction 16 going south. What do, we, what do we mean by junction? Basically, intersection. So this is street. This is street. It is called uh, junction. So what about the problem? The exhaust pipe. Okay, the exhaust pipe has fallen off. So the pipe here, the one is the one responsible on emitting smokes of the car, out of the car. Okay, let's see number uh, three. We have to listen to the phone calls and match them with the pictures. So we have four pictures. Okay, uh, we need to. Uh, Okay, let's try to answer this one. So for each one, it will tell you about the story and you need uh, to write the number down. For example, if, it, if he talks about a car accident, that's mean A. In A, we need to put number one. If there is a cut or he mentions um, a leg, then we have to choose C. If there is a virus that attacks the computer, then we need to put D. Or finally, if there is a chair on electricity or something, we need to put P. Unit 8, recording 44. Call number 1. Hello? Hello? Is that security? Yes, security here. How can we help? Some thieves have broken into my office. They've taken my computer. Call number two. IT department, how can I help you? Is that the IT hotline? Yes. What's the problem? Oh, something has happened to my computer. I've lost all my data. Call number three. Emergency? Which service? I need an ambulance, quickly. What's happened? It's my daughter. She's fallen down some stairs. She's cut her leg. Call number four. Ash Recovery, how can I help you? Oh, hello, yes. I've had an accident. I've driven my car into a bridge.
Okay, let's try to answer one by one. Okay, the first accident or the first incident was someone has stolen her computer. This is was uh, B. Second issue that the caller has lost all of her data. Uh, the result she called the IT department in order to help her. So this is number two or three. And uh, this girl has um, fallen off. And as a result, she cut her leg. And finally, the driver has crashed into um, some ob obstacle. This is number four. Okay, let's continue. Okay, in uh, exercise four, we need to complete the sentences with the verbs and the box. Put two words in each gap. Okay, so we have four sentences. Each one has a blank, and the blank must be filled from the gray box here. Okay, but before answering uh, or attempting to answer this exercise, we need to explain the grammatical rule that we are supposed to use in this exercise. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to talk about the rule that is used here is called the present perfect. Okay, the present perfect. What do you mean by that? So we are at 2020. Okay, so it means the present time now. And I think uh, next to it is the future. And I think before that time is the past. Okay. Let's imagine that you had an accident here, maybe four, three days ago. Okay. That had a, a relation uh, with uh, this date with the current time, okay? It affects, okay, uh, or it has an effect up to, to the current time. For example, let's say that you uh, went inside the classroom and you saw that the windows is broken, okay? Is broken. When did it happen? It happened or it happened in the past. When exactly, you don't know. But the effect of the glass is being broken is connected to the present. It is not, it's not yet fixed. Okay, it's not yet fixed. So it has a relation uh, with the current time. And this is one uh, use of the present perfect. Okay. في علاقة من الماضي له علاقة في المستقبل مثل المراية المكسورة تمام يعني أثرها لأن دحين موجود ما تصلحت فتستخدم we're gonna use the present perfect uh, the one use the second use is if you want to talk about this incident but the date the التاريخ is not important مو مهم التاريخ or you don't know the date of this incident ما تعرف تاريخ الحادث هذا then you're going to use the present perfect. If you know the date, then you should change the structure and you would use the present symbol instead. Okay, but tarikh jidda muhim fthahdeed al qaid had. Okay, if you don't have a date, then you're going to use the present perfect. You have a date, then you, uh, you should use the past symbol. Okay, what is the structure? How how can we form a sentence? At first, we need the subject of the sentence. Fine. We said the subject is the doer of the action. Okay. Or the sentence is talking about. What are the examples? Or what are uh, examples of uh, subject in, in any, any sentence in English? We have I, you, okay. 
they we have he any singular subject she it okay the subject in this particular uh, uh, grammatical rule divided into two one uh, regarded as plural like I you they and we the singular form uh, regarded as he she it or Ahmed Ali uh, Benson for example this is the first one the first item in order to form a correct structure in the present perfect the second one we need helping verb we need to put either half or has so I you they we comes with half he she it should use has okay the third item or the third part of the sentence you need to use is the action where the subject is or has done the main verb okay plus so the verb here divided into two sections in guess and guess man if it was a regular and the shad hot id if it was uh irregular then you need to memorize the irregular form the camera uh, the can shad lazim tahfab al fail with tasrifat Okay, for example, the word play is regular. But the word uh, drive is considered to be irregular. So, and then uh, we have drive. Uh, the present uh, form. We have drove. We have driven. This is the past participle that we must use in this rule. We need to memorize them. And that is the third. But the third one, that is the third one. Driven. 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 After that, you need to mention the object. You play what? The lavish. You driven. Sugtesh. Okay. Played football, uh, driven my car. Okay, so this is the structure of a sentence in the present perfect. And let me say, I have played football. Meta, when? I don't know. Or the date is not, or the time is not important. Okay, here I have a word. So, he has the third driven, why? Uh, driven. Okay, so uh, drove can be divided, uh, drive divided into drove in the past form and driven in the past participle. Okay, let's see um, uh, exercise four. Number one is that security. Security. Okay, security, um, uh, like the police officers, if you want, uh, if you went to a mall, for instance, at any doors or any gateway, you're going to find security. Their main job is to preserve safety for the customers. Thieves, okay, someone who is, uh, who, who's told someone else uh, without their permission, or took their th uh, things without their permission. Okay, look to this sentence. This ends with S, so it means the subject is plural. As a result, we need helping verb. We used, we used half, but the half broken. This is a regular form, Tasrif Thalith. I shall fail asli, break. Mavi, broke. 
The past participle is pro. Okay, what do you mean by proc or break? Let's say that we have a wood, a piece of wood, okay? If you push very hard at, uh, in the middle, then you proc it, okay? Then you have broken it. The other meaning, if someone has entered to your house without your permission, so he has broken into your house. Okay, they, my computer. What do you think one of these uh, words can come uh, with number one? So we have broken, we have cut, we have driven, comes with drive, fallen. Okay, fallen, squat, had, had the past participle of have, I am, have been. حصل, okay, lost, خسارة, أو فقدان, finally taken, أخذ. What do you think? We have computer here. The correct answer will be, or shall, uh, should be, they have taken. They have taken my computer. Let's see number two. Is that the IT hotline? Something. To my computer okay something uh, you can see we can't see any s at the end there is no s so we are talking about singular what comes after it is has something has to my computer happened hassle okay to my computer I after that we should put have I have lost bear in mind this is the contraction form okay i've basically means i have lost lost all of my data mean that i don't have this data anymore for number three i need an ambulance quickly my daughter again daughter is the subject singular stands for she as a result we must put has downstairs Okay, what do we mean by that? Someone dropped from one point to another, has fallen. Okay, as a result, she, again, she has, she's cut her leg. Okay, for four, if that, uh, if that crash recovery, an accident. I've had an accident, hassle. Okay, bear in mind that um, have or has comes as a helping verb and can be used as a main verb if you own something. If you own something, it, uh, the meaning should be have. Finally, I go back to the rule. Okay, you can see I have, okay. I have driven my car into a bridge. Bear in mind, for each sentence, we don't have a date at the end. We don't know when these accidents or incidents did happen. As a result, we use the present perfect. Okay, this is the, an explanation for the present perfect. Let's go through uh, this quickly. As we said before, uh, in order to be, or in order to use the present perfect, uh, the first case uh, um, we can use the present perfect if we are going to talk about recent action actions, something that happened recently, a okay, thing that happened uh, before now, new new things. For example, my car has broken down. Okay, maybe it did happen since. One hour so this incident is uh, new recent the second use is if you don't have dates or time or time expressions such as yesterday week ago in 2005 so you cannot use this 
with the prism perfect. Okay? We cannot use this with the prism perfect. If you have a date, then you need to change the structure and you use instead the past symbol. Okay, this is the rule. The subjects had the beginning of the sentence like I, you, we, they. At the second uh, stage, we need, we need to put the auxiliary verb. Here, have comes with I, you, we, they. And has comes with the singular form like he or she. After that, we need to use the verb, and we said the verb divided into two sections, regular or irregular. If it was regular, okay, we need to put ed at the end. If it was irregular, then we need uh, to put the past participle. How can we differentiate between them? The irregular form, we should uh, memorize them. Okay, there is no specific rule on when to add en we went to uh, change the form of the verb. You need to memorize them, like break, broke, broken. You cannot say break, broke, 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 okay? The negative form, when to add negative, basically, you can use not between the auxiliary verb, like have, has, and the main verb. As we can see in this example, it means that you did not do this in the past and you don't have a date to mention it. Um, we're going to um, use an example. Okay. Uh, uh, let's say that I assign you homework. Okay. And I came to the classroom and asked each one of you. Have you done your homework? Okay. In my question, I didn't ask about the time of your, uh, of your work. Okay. I'm asking whether you have done it or not. Okay. You can answer, I have done it. Okay. But you don't need to mention the, the time. Maybe yesterday, maybe uh, since three years ago, th three days ago. Okay. So whenever, uh, each time you're going to ask about something that happened in the past and you don't have to date, then you can use the present perfect. And if you want to make questions, simply, uh, we need to switch, make switch between the subject and uh, the auxiliary verb. Uh, we have to put the auxiliary verb at the beginning. So uh, have you damaged the car? Has he broken the window? So here we were able to make uh, questions. As we can see, here how uh, we can make questions in the present perfect to ask about the incident itself regardless of the date. Here I don't need to mention the date or the time. Okay, I need the specific, specific information. And I need a yes or no answers. Okay, have comes with you, we, they, and then we have to put the main verb and the object. The thing that you are asking about has come to with a singular form. Okay, we can uh, use uh, question words like where if you want to ask about the location of this incident. Okay, even if you are uh, going to ask about the time, you can use when and then. You can, you can answer using the past uh, symbol. Okay, for five, we need to uh, decide whether each verb is irregular or regular, and we need to modify each one. As we said before, you will not be able to answer these questions or these verbs, identify them, without being able to memorize and identify the uh, regular verbs. We're going to go one by one. So the first one, the word buy. Okay, for example, I I buy a card from Amazon, for example, buy to give someone money in order to get something. Okay, the past participle is pot. I can't say bite, pot. 
check. Should we add ed or we have to change the form? Is it irregular or regular? It is a, a regular form. Okay, so we basically need to put ed. Crash. Crash, the old ed. So this is the first verb that is irregular. Fall. Should we add ed or we need to change the form? Fallen. So this is irregular. As a result, we change the form. Order. Ordered. We add ed here. So we have two irregular verbs. But should we add put it or we should change the form but it add it, add it is it okay but okay this is the irregular form we don't need to put ed this is a regular form we cannot change but so we have three irregular verbs prepare only add ed sell okay solved so this is the fourth uh, regular fur sold okay to receive money as the result of giving something so this is the meaning of sold sent sent so this is the fifth okay if you want to deliver something then you have to send it okay to deliver something from one point to another like SMS speak Spoken. So this is the sixth one, the sixth, basically to talk. Still stolen, the seventh uh, regular verb. Take the uh, eighth to get something. Finally, write. So, written. So, all of these words we have highlighted and we have numbered are considered to be irregular. And you should memorize their past participle form in order to be able to write a correct sentence. Okay, an exercise six. Uh, uh, we need to make uh, uh, answers and questions. Okay, uh, using the present perfect. So check the breaks. Check the breaks. So I'm um, uh, the supervisor. Okay, talking to someone else, uh, to this uh, person. Okay, for each one from one to six, we must use have you. Because I am asking this person who is in front of me. Have you? And then each verb here, we need to modify the verb. We need to put ed if it was regular and we need to change its form if it was irregular. Okay, so an example here, have you checked the breaks? We add ed here. Yes, I have. Okay, we have this uh, sign means yes, I have. Okay, what about the tires? Here, uh, he should, uh, or you must use the negative form. No, I haven't. I see number two, order. Have, but have you at the beginning? Have you ordered? We have to put ed because order is uh, regular. Have you ordered these new uh, parts? Yes, I have. Another question, have you? Okay, we took this before. The past participle of buy is bought. Have you bought those stalls? No, I haven't. For three, change. Have you changed? Okay, let's go uh, through the questions quickly. Let's make questions. Okay. Have you cleaned? Have you spoken? So this is a regular verb. Have you written? Have you sent or sent? Have you put? Have you taken? 
Okay, bear in mind that in each of these questions, okay, we didn't ask you about the date or when, when these actions did happen. I need yes or no. Okay, just uh, see something here. Okay, guys, so in this exercise, um, we're going to go through these vocabularies, so we have new vocabularies, and we need to describe uh, what can we see in this picture. Okay, so this tool is called, the one who is standing, the worker who is standing on it, is called scaffolding. Okay, it is called scaffolding. The workers uh, uh, are using it because they help them you know, in order to uh, construct their work or to go uh, in higher places within the same building. So the first word is called scaffolding. Okay, this is called beam. Beam. Okay. So these are bricks. Bricks. This is a builder. Okay, we have three builders. This is a drum. This is called sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Look at its shape. So this is called digger. Digger. Okay. This is the crane. The crane. Remember what did happen in Mecca, maybe four years ago, five years ago, when uh, the crane has, uh, crane has fallen on the worshippers. Okay. So we have here a jacket. And finally, this is called a bucket. Okay, again, we have scaffolding, beam, crane, bucket, bricks, builder, Trump, Sledgehammer, Digger. Okay. Okay, let's try to uh, uh, describe what did happen uh, using the present perfect. So we, these are the vocabulary we have took, and these are the verbs um, uh, that we saw in the picture. For example, number one, two builders have taken off their jackets. Taken off, like taken off your glasses when you want to wash your ha uh, head or face. Number two, the builder on the left has climbed down, climbed down from the scaff uh, folding. The crane has lowered the beam. The digger has raised it, it's uh, raised its bucket. The digger has Moved. What do you mean by raised? Raised. This is raised. Okay, the opposite of lower. The digger has moved back. Move. This is moving. Go from one direction to another. The builder has driven the uh, digger back. The bricks have fallen over. So the builder in the middle has put on his hard hat. The builder on the right has put down the saw. The builder on the right has picked up the sledgehammer. The builders have put their jackets on the drum. Okay, this is called hard hat. And, uh, it is one of the safety equipments that um, the workers uh, must wear in order to protect their heads. One of the safety precautions. This is a jacket. Okay, this is the jacket. This is the drum, as we said before. So we basically describe what did happen from this time up to this time. Okay, can we see? There is a difference between uh, the two pictures. For example, the worker here has lowered down or climbed down from the scaffolding. This is an example. All of these have been written here. Okay. 
Okay, let's go that quickly. Okay, in this lesson we talked about reporting and we said reporting is to tell someone else about an accident in order to get help or to not be accounted by law for the thing you have done. Okay, or the official way of telling something. And we said that the word reporting can be used also in media. If someone uh, wants to cover, cover something uh, for the public, so the action, uh, the action uh, we're doing is reporting. The first lesson we said, uh, we talked about recent accident, recent that happens recently, new incidents, any events or accidents you have encountered. Okay, uh, we explain uh, what did happen in the, in the picture. The driver has called for help because his car has broken down, stopped working anymore. The one who received the call must fill out this information in order to uh, get the help for the caller. And these are the main type of information if you had an accident, like the customer na name, the car registration number, the location, and the exact problem. Uh, finally, we talked about the present perfect. We said we use the present perfect mainly if we have things that happened in the past, but we don't have date or time uh, to mention, or the date is not important. In order to uh, use the present perfect in a sentence, we said that we must have a subject. If the subject was one of these, are uh, you, we, they, or the plural form, something ends with S, we need to put have, and then we have to uh, mention the main verb. The subject was single, like he or she, or Ahmed or Ali. We need to use had instead of have, and we have to put the verb. And we said that the verb divided into two, regular or regular. If it was uh, regular, we have to put ed. If it was regular or regular, we have to use the past participle. We took an example here, uh, like the word broken. We said that broken could be divided into three. Uh, break if you want to use the present symbol. Broke if you want to use the past symbol. And broken is the past participle. The negative, um, basically, you can use the negative uh, uh, by using not. In the middle between the uh, zero verb, have a has, and the main verb. And question basically, you need to you switch, you need to switch between the subjects and uh, the auxiliary verb, as we see here. Okay. After that, we went through uh, some of the verbs, we were able to identify the regular and irregular verbs, like bought, this is irregular verb. Finally, we go through, went through uh, uh, some vocabulary that can be used in construction, like scaffolding, beam, bucket, crane, digger, sledgehammer, drum, builder, bricks. Okay, thank you for uh, your listening for uh, their lesson. But I need to go to see, yeah, Let's see if we have time. Okay, um, we shall continue our lessons in the upcoming lectures. We shall talk about uh, damage and loss in the upcoming lecture. Until then, 
Be safe and see you later.